Welcome to another fantastic episode of Dynamo Profits Growth Series for Chiropractors. My name is Iowa Olaiwa Ali, and in this episode, we are going to be talking about raising your reputation and recognition by educating your audience. So, what do we mean by raising your reputation and recognition? by educating your audience as a chiropractor one of the ways in which you can actually get in front of your target audience is to start creating educational materials stuff that will showcase or that will teach people what your service or your practice is all about and how you help people to live a better life, live a less painful life, and um, get things done the way it should be done, especially when it comes to uh, their health and their wellness. So, like we always say, like uh, we know that knowledge is light, and we also know that respect and recognition is given to anyone who shows us something we do not know and opens our eyes to possible solutions to issues that are affecting us. So one of the ways in which you can do that is by educating your target audience, you are going to be creating a level of leadership and recognition within the chiropractic industry, which would eventually push you to an environment where people will recognize you and will listen to you when you are talking uh, in relation to what you do as a chiropractor. So, what are the platforms that you can use for building your audience? You know, we want to look at how do you get people to actually see what you are posting or see what you are trying to share and uh, how do you get them to kind of follow you and start to um, benefit from what you are sharing, what uh, educational materials you are actually putting out. So one of the most, in fact, the most effective way of building an audience is by using social media platforms. So social media platforms have millions, like billions of people on them, like Facebook, like Twitter, LinkedIn, like um, 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 Pinterest, and other social media platforms out there. They have millions and millions of um, uh, of um, users and so when you're trying to reach your target audience it's going to be easier when you're using social media and we know that every human being would one way or the other need uh, to know about what chiropractic is all about and would want to understand what they need to do in order for them to get um, a better a better uh, life for themselves by making sure that they take care of themselves health-wise. So, once you have a blueprint, because you need to, what you have to do is simply look for a way to create a blueprint for your content. You have to sit down and write out topics that you love to discuss that people will really benefit from, even when they know you, even when they don't know you. You know, they are going to be benefit, benefit from these uh, topics, these uh, discussions. So, you need to, Create a list of the discussions that you want to really share with others and you want people to benefit from. And once you have them that you want to share with your audience, you need to be able to identify what particular target audience, uh, what particular platform your target audience hang out with and the style of presenting what you want to do or what you want to give to your target audience. So these are some of the ideas or some of the things that we've seen that have worked uh, with our own clients and our clients' clients in the past. So with, with Facebook, when you put text, live videos, images, infographic stuff, all kind of stuff, a lot of people would actually follow you on Facebook. But what is most important is you looking at creating a specific style of putting information out there. So in Facebook, you can decide to put text and live videos. On Twitter, you can decide to put news, things related to health and wellness, offers the special offers that you have from your office and other office updates that you love people to 
you know learn about then on instagram activity and process photos things that you're actually doing for clients and you know pictures of you and clients working together pin interest infographics for linkedin text and videos and for tiktok cool office videos like funny interesting office videos that are lively that are not um uh, uh, uh stagnant or they are like informal videos unofficial videos that are cool to watch and are entertaining and uh, at the same time that they are educating so once you have those things set up and you know what platforms you want to put your educational materials on these are some of the advantages of educating your audience number one you gain recognition as an industry leader when you educate people within your industry about what you do and a lot of people start to learn from your educational materials you build reputation and become an authority so you build reputation and become an authority in what you do you are, you are watching this video now because you 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 know uh downloaded a free ebook and then there's a series they are going through and i'm actually sharing a lot of things with you when it comes to my own particular service with you chiropractor so i'm doing that in order to build a recognition with you guys and in order to build an authority within the space of the kind of service i'm offering and it also helps you to build trust with your audience gain the loyalty of your audience increase their desire to work with you and get them to share and expose your content to a wider audience then it will also definitely increase your reach organically because when we share your content with their own um, audience probably, probably with their colleagues and others uh you get to uh, reach more people organically without actually spending money on advertisement so what are the mediums of creating educational materials so there are basically four mediums to create educational materials you can use text as a medium of creating your materials that's you can write um, articles you can write blog posts and other text related stuff you can even create ebooks that actually teaches us uh, how some things work as a chiropractor so you can use infographics just like this image i have on the screen here now you can use in infographics which would help you to be able to um, use graphically illustrations graphical illustration to pass out your message and to actually connect with your audience you can use audio audio is also very interesting because you can use audio to describe things and uh, some people might be very very uh, busy and they can actually listen to your audio you can also use audio to create podcasts you know podcasts that relate to health and wellness and the people will listen to it and they will de definitely benefit a lot from it then you can also use video video is a combination of both graphics uh, audio and text and everything comes into video where you can actually even have your face in the video just like i'm having my face in this video and express yourself and teach people how to do things and make things work fantastically well for your audience so now how do you actually send these uh messages out how do you how do you share your educational material so one of the best ways to do that is to systemize your educational process so if you systemize your educational process what you're simply going to do is you are going to schedule the timing for sharing your educational materials the first step is you create the educational materials you have them created maybe you are looking at um posting or sharing stuff like um every three days so when you want to share something every three days simply what you're simply going to do is you're going to start with the text version then the text version you're going to use it to create slides to make the video version and then you're going to take like uh keywords or key points uh from that text version you are going to use it to create your um, infographics and then you are going to definitely create your video using the combination of the text the infographics you have created and you know other stuff that you need or the audio and uh, for the video so once you have that done then what you have to do is simply schedule the timing for sharing educational materials there are a lot of um uh, softwares or apps online that would help you to schedule your post your post on social media and there are a lot of apps online that would help you convert text to audio then convert audio to video you know looking for uh, using ai to look for relative or related 
image that you can actually put into the video for you so you can do that or you can actually get professionals like us to help you do this thing uh, uh the, the proper way like do it in a way that is going to align with your brand and going to be customized so you create specific topic and team for what to share on a daily weekly or monthly basis create takeaways that can be downloaded whenever people consume your educational material like you know when you're going through this course you can see that for every video that we have there is a button uh, at the bottom telling you to click and probably go register for a one-on-one -on -one training or go register for a business ready session all these things are what we call takeaways that may actually be something that could be an educational material i can say okay you have watched this um click here to go download the the cheat sheet i talked about in this training video or click here to go download uh, some of the images i talked about i shared in these training videos stuff like that can actually be used and so once you have a takeaway that they download maybe an ebook or something that they can download then you should always ensure that your takeaway have a call to action at the end of the takeaway that within the takeaway itself you should have a call to action that would make them go and purchase something or make them go and register for something that will eventually turn them to your customers so for my own training for like this um cairo um growth series training what we are doing is for every video you watch we have a button that tells you to click on it and probably go register for our cryo introduction uh, session or you go register for the business uh, session or you go to the website audit page and you go do something there and then we get to audit your website so these are some of the things that you need to do when you are trying to build an audience and to build authority within the chiropractic um, niche so what's the next thing you need to do so we would love to invite you to uh, discuss with us on how we can help you develop a highly engaging educational content strategy that attracts your target audience put in a position of recognition and bring more sales for your business so all you have to do is to go to uh, www.dynamoprofit.com slash chiropractor introduction so it's just uh, the uh, the checkout page for you to register as um, you know for our one-on-one -on -one session for us to discuss about your business so we can discuss anything you want on the chiropractic introduction uh, session but basically if you are coming for this particular uh, reason then you let us know in the registration form that this is what you are coming for and this is what you would love to discuss your chiropractor, uh, chiropractor introduction session then we are going to have that and it's going to be done fantastically well so thank you so much for watching this training uh my name is always Ali and uh, i'll see you in another fantastic episode of the dynamo profits crowd growth series thank you and uh, god bless bye bye